Hi, I'm Joe. I'm in charge of the infrastructure of the dam. In this area, we have a lot of space with nothing between the crossroad. So we decided to put some habitat in, that, in, in there uh, to have more maroon and yeah, also close to the, to the pontoon to, the, to harvest them. We have more than 200 pallets, 200 stack of pallets in the dam for now, maybe more in the future. That's the new design of the stacking pallet. So we can see two big pallets, two little pallets, so the oyster pallet and a big one on the top. This new design, we can put the weight on the top, on the oyster pallet. The reason for the new design is the diver said when we put the weight on the bottom of the pallet, the pallet naturally floats. So if it's a bit loose, with a cable tie, the pallet clap together, so the maroon doesn't like that. So with the weight on the top, the pallet stay on the ground, and with the rope, we can tight a bit more. All right, so this is what we've done down at 3B. So we've built a, a wall all the way across the bottom flat, which joins up to our road along the river. So we'll turn this into a road, but. We've built a pretty high bank, so all that water that's in 3B with the sludge, as we pump it out, it'll all end up in here, in this whole paddock, and eventually it'll all just sort of settle in and seep into the ground and leave the sludge behind. So that, the idea of this is like our first trial at it. Once we can work out where all the water flows, we'll probably put a pipe under that wall, but not until we clear all that sludge and we keep the sludge up here and we don't want it going into the river. Instead of letting the water get all the way down to the river via those two pipes, we've put a couple of block offs in, the water and all the sludge will get to this bank and be forced out into the paddock. So the whole lot will just spread across the whole paddock until it finds its way to that big wall down the bottom. So all the sludge will stay in the paddock and over a couple of days the water will just subside and soak into the ground because the ground's still got plenty of scope to put a lot of water in it yet. Yeah.